Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Death Dealer. Uh, on the, uh, we're looking for the bosses. Um, we're on the search for the second boss right now. In the game, Stranded Deep. This is part 16, I believe. Um, this was looking kind of promising over here because there wasn't really anything. There was supposed to have been an island out here and I didn't see it. And so we're just kind of floating out this way right now to see what is out here. Um... Aha, uh -huh. and you can see right there, I believe that is a marker I need. It's very hard to see right now. It's right above the dot, I believe. And this may be one of the bosses right here. If it is what I think it is when I get closer. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the island that was way back there that I passed. And I'm able to see in it for some reason from really far away. Because as we get closer, it's looking more like an island. Oh, I found a wall again. Okay, so as you can see right here, here is the corner of the next corner of the map. So yeah, I've missed missed it for sure, and I'm making my way around the map now. Sailing in the right direction. And we'll continue the hunt. Again, I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate all the support. Um, like I said, I'm just having fun playing games. Trying to show some people some stuff that I might know in the games if they're new to them or if they're just wanting to check the game out in general. Um, this game, Stranded Deep, is pretty fun. Just right now, it's kind of one of them uh, boring times where you're kind of in the hunt to find the finish. If you don't really know what you got to do when you start the game, so it kind of helps to have a little heads up I'm like oh this is, this is what my planned mission is now I just gotta achieve it so yeah but mainly you gotta find where these bosses are at and um, that's kinda one of the goals or tricks of the game and a lot of sailing and time and bouncing between islands 
and then having enough supplies to survive. And then having enough to uh, load up the final plane at the end and fix that and get off, get out of the Bermuda Triangle and complete the game. Which I would imagine I will show you all that as I get to it. Um, but first things first, I got to uh, locate this, locate the uh, the next boss here to um, get the next plane part. And like I said, I think I just uh, severely miscalculated uh, my trajectory to where I was going to. I know I did, and so now I am um, sailing off somewhere <clears throat> in a hunt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my ship is slowly just pulling to the left, so that probably didn't help with my trajectory either. When I initially left to go where I thought I was going. So, I've been noticing that as I've been sailing. Because this wall is pretty straight, and I keep coming back around to it. see it there watching that pole in the island the ships pull into the left and that's because I did not finish it on the back yep and there's the yep I guarantee that is what caused me the mess up Which there's probably a strong possibility I got turned around and I'm going back in the direction that I initially came from. I don't know these outside islands by look that well. Or even if I'm on them, I don't even really know. Thirsty and hungry again. And looks like we've got a rainstorm coming in. And 
good on water again. I'm going to try to sail in toward the islands a little more here. Give myself more room for as it keeps pulling to the left here. In about another day's time though I'm going to have to probably start heading back if I don't find it in order to resupply. Yeah, I can do the storms like that one. That ain't bad at all. A little bit of rain. Wasn't too crazy horrible. Which that's good if it rained over on the base island because if it rains it saves you on a block of water for your uh, your stuff that you're growing and your potters there. Okay, so I can see the big aircraft carrier way back here in the distance. I don't like getting off that rudder too much because when the game does that like it glitches or like freezes up or whatever you want to call it it uh <laughs> you could walk right off the boat and if the boat sail is down and you walk off the boat well the boat's going to keep on going and everything on it So I had to readjust my, my course here again from pulling hard left, or from drifting left. So I had to pull hard right on it here again and kind of loop her back around.
So now I can tell you right now from looking at the where my base is at, where I'm at. Um, let me get my uh You can see the aircraft carrier is fatter on this end and not on this end because it has a control center and stuff on it right here where my pointer's at, and then on this end here it does not. Well, the island that I have for my base island is right there, roughly. It's right on the back side straight off of that, so I know exactly where my home base is. So if I was to continue sailing straight on the trajectory that I'm looking at right now, it would almost take me directly back to my home base. So that's how I use that to um, you know say where I'm at on the island and um, what's what I'm supposed to be looking for because that's like the biggest easiest landmark in the map that you can use to go off of to navigate um, and explore So I'm starting to head back toward the in interior a little more here. Let's see if I can uh, get exactly where I'm at down. Cause it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I can kind of tell where I'm at. I think I'm off on the back the back side of the ship but it's a little harder to tell for me anyway the way I'm seeing it See the white waters they always tell you where there's a ship sunk and they show up really good at night. But in this case I need to be careful I'm getting a little close and as you can see like right there popping out of the water is a rock from the island if I catch it it'll spin my boat trying to avoid that. I have enough troubles. As is, I don't need to add to it.
So yeah, I'm just kind of floating all around, seeing if I can see one of these landmarks. There should be two left. Well, all three are going to be present, but two will still have a boss at them. And at this point, I'll take on either boss. I don't care. And see, they'll look like the real small little things like this, but they won't be that close to an island. They'll be where an island should be spaced out with the rest of them. Except for it'll be a tiny little marker instead of an island. And then you gotta go underwater and have a boss fight. Like I said, there's little tricks to beating them all. So... Imagine there's probably some good loot in this big cargo ship that's right here underwater. Um, like I said, usually in the bottom there's loads and loads and loads of boxes in the hull of the ship. Um, you usually gotta use a breath boost and take an air tank with you. And then usually you're pretty good. You can and make sure your inventory is completely empty because you're gonna come back with a whole bunch of boxes, <laughs> a whole bunch of crates. <clears throat> I don't have the space to carry them right now, but I have gone and explored them in other games and just collected and collected and hoarded stuff and, you know, to the point where I've had like three or four gyrocopters and tons of fuel and... And then, you know, not even use the gyrocopters. <laughs> just built them for fun. I mean, I have used them before, though, in other, in other, uh, at other times, um, especially if I've been looking for fibrous materials and I was uh, mining like neighboring islands. Um, I found it works pretty good if I need to go grab some fibrous materials off of a neighboring island, and I'm willing to, uh, and I have the extra fuel to expend on it for the trip to the next island and back. I've used them for that. Um, I've used them to take stuff over to the. Uh, the main cargo ship in the center uh, for my base island for when I'm ready to uh, finish or complete <clears throat> the game. Um, I'll fly over versus floating over and then just land on the up on the top of the carrier and go in straight in and do what I need to do. But now I think I'm completely in a, raw, in a different part of the map that doesn't have anything going on. Uh, this is Mr. Shark Buddy saying hi. I think right now I'm on the complete opposite side of the map, I believe, from where my base is at. Uh, 
bed or my base is right here? No, that ain't it. I'm on the other side. About where that little black dot is right there. I'm gonna try floating out this way. My home island is literally right there. My little pointer's on it right now. So that's how I've been able to use that as a marker and say where, tell myself where I'm at in the world map as I'm out floating around and exploring and doing different things. Um, just like I just did. I'm on the big base end of it right there. So I know which island is mine right out the gate. I don't have to look. There you got a nice whale saying hello two of them I think or maybe not just one Caught his tail with the boat. Spun me around a little bit. And you could easily stop at a bunch of these islands and do different, you know, harvest stuff, pick up more things, materials, supplies, whatever it is you need as you go. Um, there's also little things along the way. Um, I know you can find the uh, the volleyball that has the bloody hand print on it, um, Wilson from Castaway, uh, but it's called Wooly in this game. Um, it does exist here on one of these islands. Um, but you have to go, obviously, hunting around and looking for it. I think it's up here on the end of the map that I'm on right now. I think it was on one of these islands that I recently just passed here in the last couple minutes. But, uh, I don't really... It doesn't do anything for you outside of, you know, it's just pretty neat to have have it. I've got it in other, other times I've played, I've got it, but in this time I'm not really that worried about it. kinds of shipwrecks here. Again, I'm getting a little too close to the island than I wanted to be.
me one more shot out of here. See if I can find it. on the wall. Looks like it's getting closer. And if I remember right, this bus here is pretty secluded when you find it. It almost looks like you're sailing off into a spot where there's no islands until the little marker pops up. So that's why I'm kind of trying to stay away from most of the islands, give myself some breathing distance, and close any gap that I might be within seeing one of these markers. In my luck, I'm going to float around forever looking for them and never find them. Anytime soon, anyway, or I'll stumble across them when I'm not looking for them anymore. Yeah, these last two episodes they ain't been too exciting, ain't been doing too much above some floating around. Um, But if I find what I'm looking for, that can all change. So there's my home island right there. character's probably getting fairly tired and needs to sleep pretty soon. Been sailing for quite some time now. Pretty much just sailed almost all the way around the whole map. Okay, I think I just saw a ship disappear there something. Yeah, there it is. Just pop back up.
Okay, so I think I felt like I just pretty much went around in some circles. Didn't really find what I was looking for. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't find it. I could have swore it was right over in this area. But maybe this boat dragging on me is messing up. It probably is actually it's affecting the direction I'm trying to head. <clears throat> and yeah, you can't see it. It doesn't like it's much, but it's slowly but surely always pulling to the left just a little bit. So I'm going to head back to the home island here, probably get some sleep, restock, and then take another shot at going out and trying to find it here. Direction here. Actually, I wasn't going in the right direction. My bad. I think this is my home island. Yeah, I'm looking at the thing wrong. But yeah, from where I'm at, that other bus should be off right over this way. I don't see how I missed them. Like I said, back at home base, big end of the ship, and there's the island. Made it pretty easy to navigate back for going all the way around the world. I'm going to have to restock here on water and then try to take another shot at seeing if I can find this uh, boat. And it looks like all of my stuff here at the home front is ready to go.
Always make sure you drop that anchor. Okay, got them filled up. <coughs> ah. This is the one part of the game where I've always had problems is getting on and off the raft. I hate getting on and off the raft in this game. Okay, I still had one empty. Just a minute I'm planting them because I have no water available because I just used it to fill everything up. So I'm trying to get these um, fiber sleeves in so I can go uh, start getting water being made again. Get them cut so they start regrowing. And now I just had my first batch of potatoes all come in. Four potatoes at once, which is a full tank. And the fuel broiler. Right now I ain't got nothing in there. So get this cooking. It usually takes about a full thing of fuel to cook off four potatoes so I will have to add more to that here before it is done eat that okay I gotta get some water going all those um, fibrous leaves from planting all these yucca trees around the uh, the homestead came in handy that's why I say it's the one thing that there's no limit on or one of the things that there's no limit on that and beside like feet fish and meats and stuff like that but as far as um, yeah the they'll keep continuously keep responding these things running wide open get as much water as I can coming in and reset my my snare
Like I said, everything looks like it could use a little water to get tapped off, topped off again. But again, all my water stills are pretty much currently empty. I'm just first starting to get a little bit of water back in them. And there's my stats. I'm on day 28. Oh, there's my buddy. See if I can take the shark out. I don't usually hunt with the spear gun. But generally, if you kind of stay right in the shallow, just out of his reach, he'll keep coming back. And as you see, he's got this. I think I seen the one. Spear. Ow! Hey, he bit me. Butthead. They got a little too far out there when I came up for air. Okay, I am bleeding, but I want to try to finish him off before I go uh, get my bandage. Come on, where'd you go? Taking a lot of hits. There we go. That's a black tip reef shark. And just put him to rest. And now I need to go get a bandage because I know I'm bleeding. And pull him up on shore. Pluck my arrows out of him. Spear gun arrows. May not have found a boss shark, but I did find one of the annoying pests that are in the neighborhood. Okay, now bleeding. That is the problem at hand right now. Make another bandage real quick. It's a lashing in a cloth. Ah. I just grab the one off of here. 
Okay, put that on. No longer bleeding, but still healthy. So my health should start regenerating. So yeah, I'm basically just restocking, retaking care of everything on the island here again real quick, and then I'm going to go back to searching for the bosses. Sorry, couldn't find them on the first try. But it doesn't mean I'm going to give up. But yep, just tending to the garden here. snare here. Like I said, the one bird snare pretty much will catch enough seagulls that it'll last you, it'll keep you fed, um, without a doubt. <clears throat> on normal mode anyway, one will for sure. On hard mode, you're probably going to need two. Um, and it'll give you enough small meats that you'll never have to, uh, you never have to go looking for food, really. I missed. It's a nice try, though. wants to coast back out there on its own again. Considering all the water I'm calling for right now, it's probably not the best thing to do right at the moment. Because as usual, I'm, I go through a lot of fibrous leaves. A lot of water needed. So now I guess that I am back. I did kill a shark. All he's really good for is basically the leather that can come off of him. Figured they would work better than they did there, it just didn't. 
yeah, I gotta stop doing that kind of stuff. Let me put this away. Go back to throwing spears if I need them. They're easier to make. Alright, well, I mean, I guess I'm kind of stuck here waiting. I think I'm going to take a nap. I know my characters didn't do that. It's kind of early, but I think it's been a minute since I slept, so... Wouldn't hurt. And then all these should be filled up now.